drive this a little bit back. Got to pull to the water's edge. Let's hope that this is a smooth voyage.
Well, that couldn't have went a whole lot better, honestly. I'm not so upset about those first does getting past me this morning now. Because uh, I've been needing to put one in the freezer. Courtney's been getting on to me because we had a deer meat like completely out. We actually ran out the week before deer season came in. And I said, don't worry about it. Deer season comes in next week. That's been about a month and a half ago. <laughs> but she'll be happy now. We got us a nice fat doe for the freezer. Had those six does come in. Had the four does come right under, or three does and a knot head come under right, I mean, 15 yards and got past me before I could get all of this circus on the same page. And then these six does came by and I'd be danged if I didn't let, I almost let them get past us. Completely different reason. Because they were going right through this wide open hole at 32, 33 yards, but I could, I kept seeing deer further up the creek bottom there and I hated to turn loose of an air hoe not knowing for sure what was lurking in the distance there so luckily for me there was a window that was pulling up the pulling up the rear end there and I was able to put a good shot on her and she ran right over there about 50 yards and flipped over dead so that's the way you like to see it happen it's about 10 o'clock now I think uh, we're gonna call it a morning I was Trying to be patient, hoping on Mr. Mr. Big to stroll through here. That's what we need now. But Mr. Big never showed. It's incredible what a little weather can get you, though. I mean, we've been struggling to see deer just nickel and diming it, and then get a good, cool front move in here, and uh, everybody was moving this morning. I'm sure the big boy was moving too. Just. Uh, I went in the right spot. Let's go collect your stuff. There's that arrow. This is the trail they've been using right through here. And there's the arrow, looks mighty fine. See. She was bleeding good right up there here. And here's her prize. Oh, pretty old girl. Thank you, old girl. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You will Come on, eat mighty fine. I think you can ride right there. I think you will. I'm paddling so hard and making my back hurt. Got that doe from this morning taken care of, but by the time we got her all loaded up and out, and skinned and taken care of, gotten cooler, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, it's done pushed me behind for this evening's hunt. Going back to that same thick field that we've hunted now for a few evenings, um, because I still feel like there's a good deer bedded in it. There's nowhere to get a tree stand in almost, except for I marked one little bitty double sweet gum, more or less a bush. I think I can get about eight or 10 feet, I'm hoping, so I can get up over that grass to shoot down into it. It's just impossible to get in here. The water's up, so once I got to the water, it was quiet, but you can see what I'm going through. Just, and I know it's out of focus, there ain't nothing I can do about it, I'm doing this one-handed. We need this wind noise to keep up. I know 
this is where he's coming, but I mean, how do you hunt this, you know? Look here. I can see that rub. There's a rub. I can see three rubs going down through there. There's beds right out here. It's close to 75 yards. So if he's there, we're probably fixing to blow him the next county. This little bitty tree. I'm just gonna try to get right there so I can shoot inside that limb that's coming off to the left. Very well could be like right here.
This is the look of a discouraged bow hunter. I didn't say much after everything went down because I just got quiet, let it get dark, let the deer move off, snuck down the tree, tried to bag everything as quietly as possible, and um, sneak out of there because he went where the kayak was at. But anyway, um, I mean, literally everything went exactly as I planned. Everything. Um, the deer showed up. At the, I mean, I knew it was going to be a long shot, but I'd already ranged it. I'd already drawn the bow. I mean, I was prepared to shoot there. What I was not prepared for was him to be quartering to me. 25, 20, I'd have killed him. But 48, 45, and 40, that's the three shot opportunities I had quartering to me. I just felt like that was... Uh, That'd have been pretty irresponsible. I think, you know, my best case scenario would have been one lung and liver, and that is a dead deer, but they can go a long ways, and that just ain't my style.